Hi everyone, welcome to the Bent Netter. Now this week we are going to be going into blocking. I know a couple of people have asked about it. Um, I've heard and seen people ask for me and other like throughout the internet. So I just wanted to just touch on it with this video in terms of why we why we would block, how to block, or one way of blocking, um, and maybe some tips and rec recommendations for this video. Um, so first one, let's touch on why you would block um, something that you've worked on. Um, one of the reasons is is if you do like stock nest stitch, um, you know uh, it does curl a lot, and a lot of other works kind of tends to scrunch together. So another one of the reasons to block is to get your work to lie flat, so you can pin it down and get rid of this curl, but also you can have your work stretch out a little bit and have all the stitches settle so that way it kind of shows off your needlework that you've done throughout the piece so your piece will be a little bit bigger but also you'll be able to see all the patterns that you've done throughout the work a little bit better when you do block so i definitely recommend it if you do something uh, really intricate or very unique or something with a pattern because it will look a little bit better and I feel like it, you'll like it a little bit more because you get to see all the hard work that you put into your um, item. So that's a little bit of like why we would do it. But also what I recommend is if you're looking for blocking squares and our pens, like this blocking square, which I love, I have so many of them, go on Amazon. Um, I definitely got mine. I will put a link in the description below on the blocks and the pens that I use. So that way you guys can check it out and see what it is um, because they actually um, on Amazon usually it's a little bit better pricing um, and also because you can get like a nine pack of squares and 100 pens for about 25 30 bucks um, at Michael's even with like coupons or discounts or whatever each square is individually wrapped and you don't get pens so it's a little bit more costly and also there's a lot more shrink wrap and all that kind of stuff on it if you're worried about that kind of stuff so I definitely check on um, going online to Amazon again links will be in the description below of like what I use um, I do get recommend getting like a nine pack with the needles but also getting extra um, extra needles um, because especially with uh, when in a moment when I kind of go through it um, overpinning is not a bad thing so having a ton of extra needles is not a bad uh, is not a bad thing you can also get like an extra 10 of 150 needles for like 10 bucks so it's not too expensive you don't necessarily need to get extra needles but I find it handy especially for larger projects or if you're putting multiple projects at once to have extra needles God knows I pin two or three at a time sometimes and I have like 20 bucks but so, but anyway, that's just a brief rundown of where I got my blocks, my opinion on uh, pins, and to kind of go into how to block. So, what you're gonna do is before you put anything onto your mats, you're going to take your, your piece and actually soak it in water for about five, 10 minutes. I didn't do it for this video just because most of it is sitting on my lap and I don't feel like being soaked for the recording of this video but you will soaking it in water will help get the yarn to kind of relax for your work so definitely get like a bucket or uh, something of the sort put your water in put your piece in let it soak for five ten minutes at least where you set everything up where you want to have it laid out um, and that way again it will help it relax now once you get into actual pinning, um, I've done the top part just part just to kind of help demonstrate. Um, you will be doing it along the edge. You don't need to put it in the middle of the work in terms of pinning. Um, that it's just around the edges that you will need to pin or block. Now also keep in mind there's several different ways to use uh, to pin down stuff. Okay, I just use pins. That's what I've gotten. There's kind of larger pin down blocks 
that you can use and there's stuff for lacing, which I will get into a different video on. But I just use pens, I like them, I have a lot of them, it's just what I use. So when you get into knit it to actually pinning down your project, um, well, what you will do is actually just unroll the sides and you will pin all the way in the end of your piece, okay? And you will be able to just pin in between a stitch and you can line them up. A nice thing about a lot of these blocks is that they do have lines so you can line up your work on or parallel to the lines and that way you can make sure you're not under like underpinning or overpinning. One of the things I do recommend or keep in mind is that however you pin it, that's how it's going to dry and remain. So that way, if you do pin something very out, your work will stay like this after you pin it. So it will get your yarn and your project will deform if you pin it too tightly. Okay? So just, just something to keep in mind, you do want to pull it tight, but you don't want to stretch it. So if we go over to this other side, again, we're not necessarily pulling not pulling extra we're just lying flat and making sure it's taut and again you there's no such thing as over pinning and you would just do that for the all the way down for your piece and again if you don't like how something is you can always go back and put an extra pin in it to make sure it lies flat for your piece and now once you get finished pinning everything down you will have to leave your piece for until it dries completely that way you will get all the the uh, all the edging will be flat, all the stitching will be come nice. Do not, sometimes it will take a day or two or three or four days to completely dry out, but please be patient with your work just because it will be worth it to let it dry out fully um, to block it, okay? That way everything is flat, all your uh, image, all your stitching will work. And also what I'll do, I'll pro post before and after pictures of this work so you can see kind of the difference in blocking. If you have any questions, leave your comments in below and I will see you next time. Bye.